Hey guys! Um, yes, I have the same hair and makeup as I did in my last video because I'm filming it directly after I did that one. So, yeah. I'm in a really weird mood today. I'm really sorry if that is annoying or upsets people. I'm just in a good mood. I don't know why. I really like my makeup. I'm really happy. <laughs> okay, so today I'm going to be talking about the core collection of the Real Techniques brushes. Now, I got these... I've had them for maybe like two weeks now and they have changed my life some more so than others but I'm going to tell you guys all about that as we go along so yeah this is just kind of a little review I suppose of them or what I think type of thing so yeah first I'm going to start with the brushes that were not my favourites. Okay, the first one I brought separately, and um, I wasn't really sure why I bought it. I think I was just buying it because I wanted the whole collection, so I did. Um, but it is the foundation brush. Um, there's just... it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. But it's just not an amazing brush. I can get better results using a different brush than I can with this brush for foundation. Um, it's good for doing the, like, over and under the eyebrows, um, and it's actually not too bad for contouring either, um, but other than that, it, it doesn't really blend, so it's, it's, there's nothing wrong with it, it's not bad, I just don't love it. The next one is the Real Techniques Contouring Brush. Now, this is fine for contouring, um, but I prefer to use the foundation brush that I just showed you guys to put it on first and then kind of blend it out with this brush. Um, and I suppose it's fine for blusher as well, but other than that, it's not really like good for much else. It's, it's good at blending. That's something that it is quite good at. But I've just noticed that there are little bits coming out of it. This brush wasn't my favourite. Again, nothing wrong with it at all. Really good for blending, but other than that, it doesn't really do much for me. Um, that came in the um, core collection box thing. Other than that, those were the only brushes that I really didn't enjoy as much. Um, but now I'm going to move on to the brushes that I really did like. The first one, which also came in the core collection box is the uh, Real Techniques Detailer brush. It's just this tiny little brush and it's so, so good for applying concealer in like the hard to get places and pinpointing um, like spots and zits and stuff like that. Um, I really, really like it. For around the nose I do it. Um, for precision it's really good for getting right on the nose, um, doing my forehead, under my eyes, my chin, if I want to highlight things. It's really good for getting in the inner corner with my eyeshadow as well. It's good for fixing up and doing my lipstick. This is an amazing multi-purpose brush that I can use with pretty much anything. And it's by far one of my favourites. It's just really good for pretty much everything. Um, if you really wanted to, you could use it for like gel eyeliner as well. Like it's tapered enough that you can actually use it for that. I would prefer not to, but if you're really stuck and you didn't have anything else, this would actually work um, pretty well, I would say. So this is definitely one of my favourites. My next favourite, which came in the Core Collection box as well, is uh, the Real Techniques Pointed Foundation Brush. This is really good for cleaning up little mistakes in my eyebrows, um, doing uh, concealer around the eyebrows to define the eyebrows, um, blending in concealer around the eyes after I put it on with my detail brush. Really good for getting in the nooks and crannies in the nose. Um, and yeah, I don't know, I, I wouldn't use this as a foundation brush, although that's what it's for, but it's really good for getting into little crevices and precision um, concealer as well. Um, so this is a really good brush and I've quite enjoyed this. It's become more useful than I actually thought it was going to be, so I quite like this. The next one I'm talking about is the Expert Face Brush. This came by itself. Um, this I really like for one particular reason. After putting on all my concealer, although it can't get in the little nooks and crannies of the nose, but it blends out 
the center of my face where I put I put concealer pretty much all down the center um, to highlight because it's the highest point of my face um, and it just blends so so well and it like really works it into the skin all I really need to do is like little motions like that and it blends it out just perfectly absolutely flawless I also really like this um, for cream blush Although I haven't used it as much, I do prefer to use my own hands and then use like a powder brush or the contouring brush to kind of blend it out. But it's also really good for, I, I have this, it's like in a stick, it's like a highlighter, like a pink highlighter. Um, and it works really well along my cheekbones, really, really good for blending out concealer and blush and um, like cream highlighter as well this has been a really useful brush and I do use this every day my next favorite brush um, and also the second last brush is the Real Techniques powder brush this picks up powder like nothing else I've ever seen before the bristles are so soft I and considering they're also um, synthetic um, they're amazingly amazingly soft The quality that this bumps up my powder to is incredible. You don't get the clumpy bits like in the uneven tone. It is flawless. Your skin just looks perfect and clear with this brush because of how it applies powder. I also really like using this um, if I'm using a blush. Um, I like to blend it out over the top with a little bit of powder on it and it just comes up this beautiful like natural pink flush in my cheeks it doesn't look like I've got blusher on it looks like it's natural it looks like my skin and it's also really good for blending out um, bronzer like in my temples and I also really like it for in the jawline as well um, so this has been a really good brush to use and I again I use this every day except for when I'm not using powder or blusher or bronzer which is I'm usually wearing one of them I'm usually wearing at least one of those three the last brush and by far my favorite Real Techniques brush is the Real Techniques buffing brush I use this for my foundation and I don't think I'm ever ever going to be able to use another foundation brush in my life this gives the most flawless the most perfect coverage and it's just like pixel perfect coverage it blends so well it really really works it into the skin so you don't see the streaks I was so surprised when I used this because I was using a different foundation brush it was a flat one um, and it just wasn't it left streaks and it was kind of just all over the place so I used it with my hands but then I didn't get enough coverage using my hands and I have used this every day since I've gotten it and I don't think that I'm ever going to be able to use any other brush. I usually just put the foundation on the back of my hand, swirl it around in there and just in little circles just buff it into my face and it gets in pretty much everywhere. There is nowhere where I, I need to use another brush for, um, for foundation. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, this brush is amazing and it has changed my foundation life forever it's it is really 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 incredible and I am so happy that I invested in this brush um, one of the best makeup decisions that I've ever made I'm making that claim this is I just can't stop talking about this I just really 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 love it so I need to stop now. Anyway, those are all the brushes in the base foundation collection. Um, I'm thinking about purchasing the um, Your Eyes Enhanced collection as well, um, just because it's actually quite cheap. The, all the brushes in all of the collections are really, really reasonable prices. Not in Australia. Do not buy them. If you're an Australian, do not go to Priceline and buy them. 
go to iHerb.com. Okay, this is where I'm going to make a little bit of a plug. I bought my um, brushes from iHerb.com. The pricing is amazing. The shipping is so fast. I, this has come from America. I ordered it on a Wednesday. It came the next Wednesday. Okay? Not, not a month and a half later. Not, not three weeks later. Not two weeks later. A week. I waited a week and I could not believe that it came that quickly. I was honestly, absolutely just iHerb. Go to iHerb. If you are a first time buyer from iHerb, um, I have my personal code which I can give to you guys so that you can receive 10% off of your first purchase. Now, I must stress it has to be your first purchase. Um, if you've purchased from iHerb before, it won't work, but um, I'll put the code here and I'll also put it in the down bar below so you guys can go and check it out. It is so, so worth it. I, I just iHerb. iHerb. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching my review. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope I didn't blab on about stuff too much. Um, I just really, really love these brushes and I recommend them to any professional or beginner makeup artist. I really, really do. They are really amazing and the quality is outstanding. So, two thumbs up. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I'd really appreciate it if you guys gave it a like, comment, share, just like spread the word if you're enjoying my videos. And um, if you don't and you haven't, feel free to comment and tell me ways that you would like me to improve or change things or suggest videos that you might want me to do. Um, I would really, really appreciate that, guys. Um, thank you so much again for watching and I will talk to you guys really soon. Bye.